We're doing daily devotionals through the Gospel of John, and today we're in John chapter 2. And this is an interesting story. L listen to what's going on. On the third day, there was a wedding in Cana of Galilee, and the mother of Jesus was there. Then it also tells us that Jesus and his disciples were invited to the wedding. So Jesus is invited to a wedding. His mother's there. It's in John chapter 2, and it's the very beginning of his ministry. In fact, up to this time, Jesus has never even accomplished or performed or demonstrated his power to do miracles. And you probably know the story. They're at the wedding. Uh, the wine runs out. That's a major social faux pas for the family. They'll be embarrassed. They'll be humiliated. And so Mary kind of steps into the middle of everything and asks Jesus to do something. Well, he not only is there celebrating the marriage, giving credence and I think acceptance and, well, showing the importance of marriage because it was God himself who initiated marriage. But then Jesus turns water into wine, does something that only God could do. It's a miraculous event. It saves face for the whole family. And there's a statement in the midst of it that I love. And it's Mary again speaking to the servants. And she says, whatever he says to you, do it. And then she walks away. And I love that phrase because it just kind of stands out to me as something I want to do with my life. Whatever he says to me, I want to do it. And because they do what he says, um, something amazing, miraculous happens in the life of all of those at the wedding. And I think maybe perhaps there's a message for us that when God asks you to do something, when he is invited into the picture, so to speak, amazing things can happen for you and for others. So listen, whatever he says to you, do it.